What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set your beat grids using the Tractor Control S4. So the way you do that is you use the shift button and you tap out the BPM as the track is playing and that will change the beat grid. So let me show you how that works. So right now the beat grid is actually accurately set at around 85 BPM right here. It's actually 85.5. So if I play the track, here you can see all the beat grid markers are pretty much lined up, so it's good to go. Now I can change that by tapping the shift button at least five times. So I just tapped it like super fast and you can see now that the beat grid, let me stop it, the beat grid has now changed and all the markers are super close together because I tapped it super fast. So now we gotta fix it. So let's go back to the beginning. And I'm going to press play and tap the actual beat and let's see if we can get it on. And there you go. There we have 85.5 again and all the beat markers are lining up how they're supposed to. Now if we go back to the beginning, you'll see that the beat grid marker has changed. So we would have to reset that. And just as a review, you know, we would just scroll to the place where we wanted to start. So I want to start right here and I'm going to add a B grid marker there. So now we have two. So let's go back to Q. Let's delete these. And go back to grid and just hit the beat grid marker. And now we have our first beat grid marker and that's the beginning of the grid right here. So that's just the basic overview of setting your beat grids using the Tractor Control S4's shift button. If you wanna learn more about setting beat grids and dig really deep, definitely check out that Tractor Pro 2 course I made for you guys. But that's about it. I'll see you in the next video.